Imagine a world where society has crumbled. The dead walk among us, and surviving each day is a challenge. Welcome to the apocalypse, where life as we know it has vanished, and the world has become a hostile, unforgiving place. Inspired by the popular TV series, The Walking Dead, we've created a guide to help you face this nightmarish reality. In this video, we'll explore the top 10 essential items you'll need to survive an apocalypse like The Walking Dead. From securing clean water and stocking up on non-perishable food, to mastering self-defense and staying connected with other survivors, we'll provide you with the knowledge and tools to navigate this new world. Number 10, Water and Water Purification. Access to clean drinking water is vital for survival. Store large quantities of water in sealed containers and invest in water purification systems. For example, portable filters, purification tablets, or UV purifiers to treat potentially contaminated water sources. Number nine, non-perishable food. Food is essential for maintaining energy and health. Stockpile non-perishable items such as canned goods, freeze-dried meals, protein bars, and meals ready to eat. Store a variety of foods to ensure a balanced diet and avoid food fatigue. Number eight, first aid kit. A comprehensive first aid kit should include bandages, gauze adhesive tape, antiseptic wipes, tweezers, scissors, pain relievers, anti-inflammatory medication, and any necessary prescription medications. Additionally, consider learning basic first aid and CPR skills to effectively manage medical emergencies. Number seven, shelter and bedding. A secure, fortified shelter is crucial for protection from the elements and potential threats. Choose a location that is defensible and can be reinforced with barriers. Bedding materials such as blankets, sleeping bags, and sleeping pads will provide comfort and insulation during rest. Number six, weapons and self-defense tools. Equip yourself with a variety of weapons for self-defense and protection against hostile humans or zombies. This may include firearms, knives, machetes, baseball bats, or even improvised weapons. Ensure that you have appropriate ammunition and maintain your weapons regularly. Acquiring basic self-defense skills is also beneficial. Number five, clothing and protective gear. Durable, weather-appropriate clothing is crucial for protection from harsh environmental conditions. Sturdy boots, gloves, hats, and multi-layered clothing will help you adapt to changing weather. Protective gear like goggles, face masks, and body armor can offer additional safety in hazardous situations. Number four, communication devices. Staying connected with other survivors is essential for coordinating efforts and sharing information. Walkie-talkies, CB radios, or satellite phones can facilitate long-range communication. Keep spare batteries and charging devices on hand to ensure your equipment remains functional. Number three, fire starting tools and fuel. Fire is necessary for warmth, cooking, and sterilization. Matches, lighters, or flint and steel can be used to create a fire. Gathering fuel such as wood charcoal or propane will ensure you have a consistent heat source. Learn fire safety practices to prevent accidents. Number two, basic tools and repair supplies. Assemble a toolkit with essentials like a multi-tool, hammer, screwdriver, wrench, and duct tape to fix broken equipment or maintain your shelter. A sewing kit can be used for clothing repairs. These supplies will help you adapt and improvise in an unpredictable environment. Number one, navigation and survival guides. Navigating unfamiliar terrain is easier with maps, compasses, or GPS devices. A survival guide or manual can provide valuable information on essential skills and techniques such as building a fire, purifying water, foraging for edible plants, hunting, and setting up traps. Familiarize yourself with these skills before the apocalypse so you're better prepared to face unexpected challenges. Have you ever thought about what your survival strategy would be in the event of an apocalypse? Would you try to find a group of survivors or go solo? And do you think that the items on this list are sufficient or would you add anything else to the list? Let me know. Till the next time, see ya.